My name is James Johnson. I recognize I was having some kind of tremors about 10 years ago. A neurologist I went to told me that it was essential tremors. It's like the more I concentrate, the more they come out. It's embarrassing to try to eat a salad because you pick up some lettuce on a fork and the time you get it to your mouth, there's nothing on the fork anymore. You've, you've lost every bit of it. It's very frustrating. It's very exciting to, to have something that can help you. After the focused ultrasound treatment, I hope and expect to not have the shakes in my right hand anymore. Now the fun starts. So uh, this morning we're doing a MR guided high frequency ultrasound ablation on a patient who's 70 years old. He has had a tremor for 10 years. He's tried multiple medications. We are using ultrasound to treat his tremor and it creates a thermal ablation in his thalamus to stop the tremor. Um, currently he's having his MRI scan um, right now and then we will get started with the ablation part and it just creates a small ablation in a part of his thalamus that is where his tremor has originated. The focus ultrasound treatment really seems like a godsend almost. I mean, you're not having to have any kind of surgery of any kind, no kind of devices implanted. Notice the water in the bottle is almost still. I am very happy with it, and I want to see him have a very happy, fulfilled life. Okay. And he just hasn't had it in the last few years with this. That's the best signature I've had in years. <laughs> and that's a big plus. It just, uh, it looked like 15 years ago how I used to sign my name. I think it's a miracle. You should have a detailed conversation with your physician regarding the risks and benefits of treatment options prior to treatment. The most common complications reported by subjects in Insight Tech-sponsored clinical studies after treatment included imbalance, gait disturbance, numbness, tingling, and headache, head pain. Most complications were classified as mild or moderate, and 48% resolved on their own within 30 days. Additional infrequent events included dizziness, taste disturbance, slurred speech, fatigue, and vomiting. Persistent complications at three years included numbness, tingling, imbalance, unsteadiness, gait disturbance, and musculoskeletal weakness. For complete safety information, please visit usa.essential-tremor.com slash safety-information.